there is little doubt that proof coins hold a special place in the hearts of most coin collectors. After all, these are supposed to be perfect examples of how a coin is meant to look. But mistakes do creep in, and variety collectors tend to overlook proof coins to a large degree. Proof sets have been produced at the San Francisco Mint on a continual basis since it reopened in 1968. So all regular proof coins since then should bear the S mint mark from that facility. However, there are exceptions, and the no S variety is chief amongst these. This is usually down to an assistant engraver forgetting to add the S mint mark to a proof die. These varieties are extremely sought after and very valuable. In this video, I'll take a look at six times that proof coins were minted without a mint mark. The first in line is the 1970 No S Roosevelt dime. This was the second date in which this error was discovered by collectors. Collectors. Like most of these varieties, it is unknown exactly how many such coins may be in existence. In early 2017, a coin of this description was sold at auction in a PCGS holder with a grade of Proof 69 Cameo for $2,350. Rather amazingly, the same mistake was made just the following year, but this time in 1971, no S nickel variety was mistakenly created, making this the only issue in the Jefferson Nickel series with a missing mint mark variety. The S is supposed to be between Jefferson's ponytail and the date, but as you can see here, it is clearly missing. According to Mint estimates, approximately 1,655 no S 1971 nickels may have been struck and escaped the mint. In 2016, a no S nickel was sold at auction in a PCGS slab with a grade of Proof 69 Deep Cameo for a price of $7,637.50. The next coin comes to us nearly a decade later in the form of the 1983 No S Roosevelt Dime. Now, why 4 out of 6 coins on this list are dimes, making this variety far more prevalent on this denomination than any other is a matter of some healthy debate. The only reason that I can surmise is that due to the relative size of the coin, the omission of the mint mark on the proof dies was perhaps harder to spot until it was already too late. At any rate, in 2017, one of these rare coins was sold at auction, housed in a PCGS slab with an assigned grade of proof 70 deep cameo for $8,225. From there, we move on to the only Lincoln penny to make its way onto this list, and the most modern coin by date on here as well, the 1990 No S Memorial Cent. Now, this coin came about after a penny die from Philadelphia intended for use in business strike coins was shipped to San Francisco instead. At that time, it was apparently processed as a proof die and struck an unknown number of coins before the mistake was discovered. Current estimates indicate that at least a few hundred of these coins may have escaped the mint in 1990 proof sets before it was discovered. In 2014, a proof 69 red deep cameo example of this variety was sold at auction in a PCGS slab for $19,975. And so, from the newest to the oldest coin on the list, the 1968 No S Roosevelt Dime was the first coin that the mint inadvertently left the mint mark off of a proof coin. Due to the very small number of coins that are known, it is thought that the mint likely caught the mistake very early on into production. But the exact number of coins that may have had this error is still a bit of a mystery. The variety is extremely popular, and if you can obtain one, 
selling it will be absolutely no problem. As recently as 2014, a PCGS certified example with a grade of proof 68 was sold at auction for $35,250. And so we reach the top position on this list with the 1975 No S Dime. This coin is, simply put, one of the great numismatic scarcities of the 20th century. To date, only two coins are confirmed to exist. One, a proof 66 example, and another, the first one to have been discovered, is a proof 68 example of this variety coin. To date, only once has either of these coins been placed on public auction. That was in 2011 when Stax and Bowers sold the proof 68 example for a lofty 349 thousand six hundred dollars. Now please keep in mind that the no s variety is exclusive to proof coins and as such the coins will be discovered in the corresponding proof sets for that year. Do you make it a habit of checking your proof sets for varieties? Let me know if you do in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the little bell icon never to miss any new videos. For the World Numismatic News, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, keep collecting and have a great day.